Hello children. Children, in this session, we are going to learn how to add HTML files from mobile. So for that, the first thing is to create any HTML file, we need HTML writer. That is any text editor. So how we will get it on mobile? For that, tap on Play Store. You open your Play Store and write just write HTML editor as you will click on HTML editor list of HTML editors will get displayed but from so many which one should you install it is completely your choice but if you ask me uh, whenever not only for this app for uh, selecting an editor but for any other app also three things you have to keep it in mind the three thing is first is the size of the file file size should not be big it should be a small size file then most importantly its uh, rating and reviews also because what happens children sometimes the apps they have a scheme that if you rate us they will sponsor us or they will give you some uh, session free something like that perks okay so for that also even if people do not like the app still they will give a good rating but the actual thing you will see under the review section so if i click on and writer the others have 3.6 4.2 something like that and writer is having 4.5 rating rating is good okay reviews are very very good and the file size is also small so you will have your option install if you have not installed this i already have it in my mobile so i will get the option open so you install it will get installed and then you will see this window with open option tap on this right so here we are on the html screen can you see the html screen is now here and we can now start with the html coding so what have we planned we have to add image to our background or add the image on the html web page so for that we also need one image so please quickly go to your gallery and here whichever image you want so many see folders are there downloads if you have any of your choice folder you just tap on that i will select any one so i think this is my image which i will like to add to my web page so all of you do as you see the video from if you have two devices from one device you see the video and start doing it with me so far what we have done we have simply installed one html editor and now we have come to the gallery part because the entire images are available in this folder right so here from sub folders like your camera section or downloads from anywhere sub folders you have from there select one image something like this here it will show you now from the right bottom corner where you have three dots tap on that and look for the details this type of window will appear on your screen what does this window explains if you see the second line after 7th october this is the day okay when this image was installed or downloaded sorry downloaded not installed downloaded the date it is showing time also i don't want this detail what i want is the image name which you will get in it in the second line can you see 78f511 so on a big file name it is having with the extension dot jpeg this explains this is the image name below that also you can see something is written what is it it is mentioned internal storage slash dcim slash 100 pin slash pins what is this it means that this image 
is inside the internal storage of the memory like uh, if you do it with computer so on computer when you open your file explorer what do you see c drive d drive yes or on the desktop you can save it in many folders same way here also where is this image located inside the internal storage of the memory there is one folder named as dcim and under this again there is one subfolder 100 pinned and one more subfolder inside the previous one which is pins folder so basically we could see also on gallery i will show you once again if i move back see this is complete can you see this album when you see see this part canva background it is whatever facebook pictures downloads camera like this so these are our folders inside the internal storage and here i have selected this sorry this image so right click come back to this and now i want to rename it why because it has a see lengthy name it will i will save it with name good it was good morning so just i will write gm.jpeg good morning okay come back to and writer now here you first see children carefully write down ht and three things it will show you basically normal html html4 template and html5 template html5 version is here with the structure of html written can you see the first line first line itself explains exclamation doc type html it explains that it is a html 5 version the latest version to whom it is going to explain to us yes i can also understand that it is the html 5 version and basically this is for the browser as the browser will read the first line browser will understand that the user is uh, doing html 5 okay using the coding language and here come to body tag here children please be careful here only you will acknowledge some errors I have saved the image now i have come to the editor i have got the structure of html my target is to set a background so as a image okay i want to set any image as a background so for that write down body tag and the attribute we use for setting a background is background equal to and double quotes now first after this much you know the name of the file i have saved it with gm.jpg write the name don't click on run see children please be careful why because uh, the error is coming uh, reason is image is in one folder and the files are getting saved in another folder we will bring the file and the image first in same folder so you have one option either create a new folder copy that image bring it to that folder and save this file also in the same folder or just see after you write down the path you can see a right at right top corner save as option see what is this this is my internal storage and where is my file see i will show you internal storage inside that my file is in dcim so i will look for dcim then click on that pint subfolder inside that i had pins and here can you see the cursor waiting no name i will uh, name it as gm here i will save save it now run beautiful got it i got background a uh, same image and now you will not get any error this is a small mistake which we generally do and we see error comes and the image is not displayed do one more thing as we have got the background image see i will copy everything see what i am doing smart work this body tag i don't want this image in body tag so i will click enter now i will use it as my image image 
then space by default src equal to in double quotes so just do this much and again i will rename it see i will tap on here save option run got it it is not a background this is a image so what i will do to show you i will set the size size means height and width because now image sizes you can see it was big so it has captured the entire screen so height equal to let me see how many pixels 100 and width equal to yes so beautiful see 30 and 90 pixel that means you can take some more if i take it 250 or 280 whatever and here if i take it as 400 now again save the file and run beautiful got it so the same thing we have done using the same tab but this time we have not added it as a background but as a image so both the things we have done you can now add border to it if you want so set border see spelling is wrong b o r d e r and mm, two pixel three pixel is okay but do save it and then execute got it border also so children i hope you have liked this you have understood now please try it on your own and let me know if you face any problem god bless you children